If this looks, smells, and tastes like a chicken nugget, well, that's because, in a sense, it is. Wow. The difference is that this nugget was grown in a lab using a single cell. It's the creation of San Francisco-based Just Foods. The company has been making meat-free alternatives since 2011, but now they say they're making real meat products produced from cells instead of slaughter. In today's world, 99% of meat comes from these big factories where you have lots of animals crowded together. We thought maybe we could do it differently. What if there's a way to take a single cell from one of those animals and make meat for the world? Here's how it works. The meat in the nugget came from a single stem cell extracted from a live chicken and then grown in a lab. The cell was multiplied many times over to create muscle and fat tissue, eventually shaping up to look like any other chicken product on the market. Is this real meat? We think it has a transformative potential, certainly not just to reach vegans and vegetarians, but to reach everyone that, that loves meat. Just Foods is one of a whole class of California companies developing this tech. New Age Meats has made a pork sausage in a lab. There is this tremendous pressure to have less and less expensive meat. And that has tremendous cost for all of us, to the environment, to our health, to animal welfare, to our food security, to our future. So an animal didn't evolve to give you delicious meat. It evolved to make muscle and fat so that it could live. In our case, we control everything about the cell. And it's really nothing more than just amino acids, fatty acids, sugars, salts minerals. But will meat grown in a laboratory hit grocery stores near you anytime soon? Well, not everyone is getting in line. Biological systems are way, way more sophisticated than human beings willing to acknowledge. You just cannot apply that technology mindset to a biological system and get away with it. And logistical issues such as cost and regulations remain a massive hurdle. But some say this meat could one day be part of a solution that goes far beyond your local grocery store. According to the UN, meat consumption is one of the biggest factors contributing to climate change and world pollution. They say changing these consumption habits could be the single biggest way to reduce your carbon footprint. It is weird, but what's even weirder is doing the same thing we've always done and screwing up the world. That would, that would be really strange. Lab-made meat could change our perception of food as we know it. Matt Rivers, CNN.